Hey everyone, so yesterday I showed you how to create this slide um, out of a built-in multiple choice question slide in Articulate Storyline. And today what I want to do is I just want to quickly show you how you can adjust the um, or customize the correct and incorrect feedback. I know that the approach I'm going to show you is a bit of an unconventional approach. Um, but what I want to do is show you how you can quickly do that on a slide by slide basis instead of going into the feedback master. Um, later in the week, I will be showing you about the feedback and slide master so I can show you how to create a, um, a standard question slide that utilizes this uh, layout. And I will also show you how to create standardized feedback. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to quickly do a one-off customization of the correct and incorrect feedback. Now, what you'll want to do first is create a new layer. And um, what I normally do, because your um, correcting incorrect feedback for all questions will automatically populate. And what I want to do just want to rename you. Um, so I'm just going to call them correct one and incorrect one. And then we're going to create our new layer, which is correct. And what you want to do because you're creating a custom correct field is you're going to want to dim non-selected layers on the stage so that you can see the colors on your background. Or if you are comfortable using your eyedropper tool, you can um, use this small little um, thumbnail. So I've got my correct slide and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shape and I'm just going to put my shape over the options. And it really doesn't matter if it overlaps a little bit out of this canvas because we're going to make sure that our font is placed um, the center line. So what we're going to do is I want to um, create the fill and you know what I think I want a white fill a white outline. Um, no I'm lying. So I want a um, an orange fill. Or you know what, maybe we'll take a blue. Sorry, I'm very indecisive. So, okay. I like this blue. I'm going to uh, remove the outline. And then we're going to insert some text. And this is where we're going to have feedback. All right. Paper is not a writing implement. And we're going to center that. I'm going to bold, format white, increase the size of the correct prompt. I'm going to format white and increase the size. All right, so we have our two, um, our, our text box and our shape. And then if you go to your correct field, you'll see that there is a continue button and the continue button has a do, 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 trigger that jumps to next slide when the user clicks. Now, we're gonna just undock this panel. So we've got a hide layer and a jump to next slide when the user clicks the button. So I'm just gonna dock that again. And so what we wanna do is we wanna recreate that. So we're going to add another shape. I'm gonna add a rectangle and it's going to say continue bold it. I'm going to increase the size and then I'm going to format it so that it is 
shape fill the same color, but I'm going to do an outline with a weight of five. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, add a trigger, jump to next slide when the user clicks, and then I'm going to add another one that says hide layer this layer when the user clicks. And then all we have to do is duplicate that for our incorrect and adjust, adjust some of the text. And then we're going to delete our other default layers. And now these will be our default layers. So we are going to, if you go to form view, you'll see that the correct and incorrect is now a custom layer. And you can do this with a try again layer as well. So when we preview this, you will see our new feedback layers that we have just created. You see that when we select the incorrect, the incorrect shows up, and if we replay and we select paper, the correct is going to show up. So that's how easy you can quickly create a one-off um, slide, um, feedback slide layer for your question slides. So hopefully that helped. I know, again, it's unconventional, so I will show you the proper way of doing that using the Feedback Master later on.